Hey guys, welcome back to Factorio. This is Eddie Man. Something about pies, episode number three. As we lead into red science here, we are going ahead and improve on some of that red science today. As we got another attack here. Oh boy. <laughs> They're getting a little bit stronger. Automation is finished, finally. We have access to those assembly machines. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and roll that intro as we roll into improving on that red science pack. All right, guys, as we come into this episode, uh, we're going to go ahead and, like I mentioned, improve on the Red Science Pack build. All right, we have the automation is done. Very good. Uh, so we can start making those assembly machines, which is going to help us big time in automating this process. So backtrack a little bit. We gone ahead and we got power online. We got some soil online as well, which we have a box here filling up with soil. Very good. We have our foraggy plantation processing the foraggy plant here, which is also going into a chest, right? And then we have the destructive distillation column, which is turning coal into these th these four items, um, the coke and the three other byproducts, one being coal gas, one being tar, and one being like a uh, coal rock that you can use to smelt into an iron plate eventually when we unlock that research. Okay, so the foraggy plant and the coke is required to make the foraggy substrate, which is used to make the uh, productive coating for red science. Okay, so how do we improve on that? We just expand our building. Um, and if I keep picking up with these resources without using them, eventually my inventory will be filled. <laughs> so I gotta make sure I stop doing that. Alright, so we want to go ahead and increase our production to two science labs. Now remember, this science lab glows red. So this one only accepts the red science pack. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'm so used to calling it red, so I'm gonna keep calling it the red science pack. Yep, yeah, that's why I made my decision on that one. <clears throat> okay, uh, so we'll go ahead and let's continue to smelt stone, to stone bricks, because it seems like we will need a lot of it, considering that the biters are gearing up for another attack here. We're gonna have to go ahead and take that out soon. My next research will definitely be turrets here. So we will start that research. I don't think we have 10. No, we don't. And we don't have enough of the protective coating or any other item to create the foregi. Uh, which is because I need coke. Okay. So I think now I'm covered. Yep, I can make... Well, let's make two of them. Man, man, oh man, oh man. They keep coming and attacking the same spot here. Okay. At least I was able to slow them down with that one. That attack, right? <laughs> Alright, so let's grab some coal then. And it looks like our processes are hampering on just these two minors, so let's double this up to four right off the bat. Okay, and we'll go ahead and make some more um, repair packs as well. Okay. 
Okay. Alright, we need some belts there, and then we need a another power pole. Excellent. Turret is done. Alright. We will need to research. Hmm. What are we going to go for next? Logistics. Well, of course, that's what we're going to go for next. And then we can start queuing these up too. Uh, logistics and then research military. The first military science. Hypermodrigal 6. Oh, getting a little scary out there. Okay. So you are done. We are just going to flip you over for now. And do that. Um, and I want to add another one. Just for giggles. Okay, you can start that. And... And then you will be like that. Again, you can do that. Okay, that one is already done. So we'll transfer you to this side. And that works. Okay. We have plenty of copper. So I'm not going to pick up copper for a little bit here until we need some. Alright, we have the coal coming down. Which is good. This hard pit is... It's getting there. It's just moving. So how do we improve on the red science automation here? That is the question. Uh, pretty much just going to double up on everything we need here. Now soil isn't really directly related to... Well, okay, I guess it is. Um, you need the soil to make the... Um, for Wargi plantation here. So one soil producing should be okay for now. Okay, I want to double up on this building here process. And I also want to unlock logistics so I can start doing undergrounds and splitters here. So can craft all that. And obviously I'm going to need to get some turrets here. Put two turrets out there. So actually, let's go ahead and queue that up. Okay. What I actually want to do here is... I want to set up some gear production. Because uh, I'm so sick of crafting these gears. <laughs> I sure am. And then we don't have access to... Blue inserters yet, but... Alright. <clears throat> these sides back takes forever to craft. In fact, let's see how many seconds it is. Five seconds. And we get two of them. Okay. Mm -mm. It's actually not that bad. So we're still crafting those science packs. No problem. And we got coke going, we got tar, we got syngas. Actually the coal gas is just being vented right now. Because actually we don't know what to do with it other than just vent it into the air. Okay. <clears throat> Like I said, I want to go ahead and double up on this. 
go ahead and just place that there for now. We're uh, waiting for uh, the inserters. Okay. And it's good practice. I think I want to double up on the inserter count here. Which is not going to work because the power pole is there. So we'll just have to put another power pole in there. Okay. Right, we got that starting on the logistics. Excellent. All right, now we have the turrets. Sorry, guys, I'm all over the map here. Let's go ahead and place our first turret down right here. And we'll go ahead and do another one there. And we don't have access to walls yet. Alright, that's going to be uh, another science queued up here. Whoa, that scared me. I didn't even see them coming up. <laughs> Ooh. Oh boy, you guys must have seen me jump on that one. Oh. Alright. Eh, there's nothing to see here. We'll just carry on. <laughs> oh my goodness. Again. We're going to have to double up on the power pole. Okay. And then we're just going to run this down to you. Excellent. So that's going to double up on our Wiggy there. Get logistic logistics going, and then we want to get military and then stone walls. So we're going to need another 20 of these. forgot that the forgy takes word to create the glass okay so instead of chopping the whole forest down in the whole game uh, what we're gonna have to do is we're gonna have to start making these wood processing units um, now to make wood um, do we know how to make wood yet was that something we have to research Poor wood fence. Okay. Yeah, it looks like it's gonna have to be a research. Let's see if it's locked behind anything. A cooling tower. Okay. Coal processing. Ah, here, yes. We're gonna need this coal processing here. And we have the logs in there for mortar some other word okay so we're gonna have to queue that up as well in fact while I was in there I should have queued that up next 
Oh, some PWA requisites technologies are not. So we actually need steel first. Okay. And then coal processing. Alright, so in the meantime, we're just going to have to gather a board and use that to make the red science bags. One, two, three. The Molly or okay. Huh. Hyper module seven. Oh my goodness. Give me all your word while I'm up here. And I'll take stone too as well. Okay. So 40 word is not going to get me far. <clears throat> so yeah, we're going to have to make, like I said, these wood processing units. Uh, so let's actually start with making one. See what that gets us. Now I do want to do this. I'm gonna make a wooden chest and an assembly machine. some more power poles so let's do that I'm gonna make some iron gear wheels and give us a power pole there and then the iron gear wheels can just come out into you okay and we'll limit that to four stacks, shall we? Okay, and uh, we're up to the military pack. Let me go ahead and throw these in there for that. So t improving on the red science, it will definitely have to be this wood processing unit here. Okay. So let's just place it down and then we'll figure out what we can do with this. Going forward here. No recipes available. All right, so we have a <laughs> we have a building with no recipes. <laughs> okay, and it must be locked under coal processing, which it looks like it is. Yep. Okay. Combustion turbine Mach one. Interesting. Okay. Okay, so we got the gears. Um, maybe we should do the same for copper cables. Now there's two different types, I believe. There's a copper cable and then there's this electromagnetic coil. I guess it won't be crazy if we do both of them, right? Why not? And then we need two assembly machines. And then we'll have that power over here.
Oh, oh, it's gonna have to be like that. Okay. Uh, let's do you guys, and we'll do you guys. You will make me copper cable, and you will make me the electric magnetic coil. Okay, we'll make two iron chests, just because we can. And we will stick you guys with two stacks of each. Okay. <clears throat> sounds very good, sounds very good. I like how they just cut the... <laughs> They just took the image and cut it in half and made it like a little coil. Funny. All right. <clears throat> so that's gonna decrease the amount of time it will take for us to make pretty much anything here. Uh, we I do want to get this red science online, but I'm not sure if I want to keep this structure of a base. This is one central line here. I think I want to spread out and start making like. Almost like a bus system. Because if we have smelting here, and then the bus can start coming down, and we'll just bust things on both sides. We'll make like a science area, and so forth. Sorry guys. I usually will not do that on camera, but kind of parched today. <clears throat> Alright. So yeah, that, I think that'll work out. Okay, that is done there. Let's go ahead and move this one down to you. Fill you back up with iron ore. Um, yeah. Um, copper, not copper, coal ore, should I say. Alright, that's good, that's good. Our next research is steel processing which I believe is 50 yep 50 red science okay so we have the Fuegi plenty of Fuegi and we have a lot of coke um, but we could double up on this but like I said what I want to go ahead and do is figure out some kind of better structure of placing these things. So maybe this coke line, so now we have splitters and such. We can go ahead and split off this coke, this coal line and make this distillation columns right here. I think I could get away with doing four. Let's see what the Takes two seconds. About two seconds to construct. Three seconds for this to make that. So six, double up on that. We have one, we need five more, and then we'll do three more tailing ponds. All right. <clears throat> And I think this research will tell us what we can do with coal gas. We can make a sin gas and it gives us access to these buildings. Okay. Gasifier is what we're looking for. And this will lead, this unlocks um, the green science as well. Well, it gives us knowledge of what the green science is, but these two technologies here actually unlock it. Okay. <clears throat> All right, so what I'll go ahead and do is, um, I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I'm not sure if I'll call it uh, Improving Red Science. Um, maybe I'll change the name. 
Uh, we'll see. Well, by now you already know what the name change is going to be. Um, so yeah, uh, I want to thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode of Something About Pies. As I am a hot mess, but I am learning the process here and uh, creating that base layout isn't going to come, you know, right away. It's going to take uh, trial and error and tearing things down and rebuilding things. So I hope you guys enjoy this series so far and I hope you guys stay tuned as we have more fun and games ahead of us as we learn the ways of the pie. <laughs> All right, again, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Factorial. And if you haven't yet, please, really quick, consider drawing me a like for the video. It greatly helps me in the channel out. And if you want to stay up with everything Eddie Man and keeping up with this series and all my other series, uh, please consider subscribing to the channel as well. But right now, thank you so much for joining me in this episode of Factorial. And like always, I hope to see you guys next time. Bye-bye.